I thought we'd do a little bit of heart opening and rib opening and a little bit of yin. So if you've got blankets, belts, that helps, yeah? Um, yeah, basically that's it. Um, so just do what's comfortable for you. Do what's safe. We'll do a normal practice as well with some vinyasas and bows. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to mute everybody and um, we'll make a start. So I think we might have one per one more person joining, so I'll keep an eye on the screen. All right, brilliant. So what we're going to do is we're going to start in our usual position, laying on the back. What I'm going to do a little bit differently today is to shift the focus away from controlling the breath, but rather letting the breath find you. Okay, but we are going to start with a little bit of breathing, exhaling out the mouth as usual, just to bring ourselves onto the mat and into the practice. So just come into a normal position, laying on your back. You can have the feet together and the knees out wide, and you can bring the hands to rest on the belly, or one on the heart, one on the belly. We're just gonna come into the breath for a few moments. You don't need to worry about counting in or anything, just relax. Because what we're going to try and do today is focus a little bit more on opening the ribs, focus a little bit more on just enjoying the practice, enjoying the present, and not becoming too obsessed with the breath. Just bring your awareness into your body. Notice how you're feeling right here, right now. And just letting that breath be. Just bringing yourself into the present moment. Taking your time, being gentle with yourself. When you're ready, I want you to slowly release the hands. And we're going to just take two breaths here. And again, just taking your time. And when you're ready, we're going to slowly draw the knees in towards each other. And just take a moment, see how the hips are feeling. And we're going to slowly draw each knee into the chest one by one. Give yourself a nice little hug and a gentle rock from side to side. Now we're gonna to come to stillness and we're gonna inhale, if you lift the forehead up towards the knees, shoot the fingers away, nice and active, rounding the shoulder blades, exhale to release. We're gonna to inhale to lift, exhale to release. Let's take three more with your own breath. And slowly coming back to the mat, we're going to release the feet to the mat. Bringing the arms by the side, we're going to inhale if you lift the hips up. So remember to engage the glutes here a little bit, engage a slight back bend. And we're going to lower and lift and lower. 
So just engage in the glutes as we lift. And let's keep going for five. Pressing the feet into the mat for four. Nice engagement of the thighs for three. Lifting up for two. And slowly releasing on one. Nice. And we're going to work with the belt. If you do have a belt or a scarf that isn't too stretchy, that will be good. And we're going to work into opening the legs, the hamstrings and the hips. So what I want you to do is to get hold of your belt, bring that right foot and bring the belt around it nice and safe. And I want you to hold the belt with both hands, and I want you to slowly start bringing that leg towards the upper body. So we're stretching into that right leg. Remember, you can bend that knee a little bit if you need to. You can reduce that stretch if you need to. Just take your time, breathe in as you bring that leg towards you. And again, just let that breath find you. Try to lose that need to have control over it at all times. Let it be more natural. Just staying here for a few more breaths. Remember, you can make any adjustments that you need to. That's great. And when you're ready, slowly and safely release. Just bring that belt to the side for the moment and just give that leg a nice squeeze all the way up, all the way down. And just bring that knee into the chest and release. And just take a couple of moments here. We're gonna stick with this side. So the next exercise we're gonna do, because we're gonna lift that foot up again, bringing the belt around it, just around the center of the foot, so nice and stable. Take hold of the belt with the right hand. You can straighten the left leg if you want to. But keeping the left hand on the left hip, so just to be disciplined in your practice, and we're going to start opening that right leg out. So take your time and only go as far as it's comfortable and feel safe. So if you feel that left hip is lifting too much, then maybe just reduce the intensity. So this is a strong stretch. So just taking a few more moments here. <clears throat> Already, we're going to slowly and safely come out of it. <clears throat> so just bring that knee in, give it all a nice squeeze. Release that foot and just sit with it for a couple of moments. See how the difference is between the right and the left. Lovely. So we're going to start on the other side now. So I'm just going to swivel around. 
<clears throat> I want you to bring that left foot in the air this time. Take the belt safely around it. And we're going to draw that left leg towards the upper body. So the aim of this is to open up the back of the leg and the hamstring. So it might be different on this side, and that's absolutely fine. I'm a bit tighter on this side. So remember, you can bend the knee if you need to. But the aim is to keep a nice stretch as well. We're just going to be here for a few more moments so you can make any changes. Remember, you might want to go deeper or come out a little bit. <clears throat> Lovely. So take your time. We're going to slowly release, so just take the belt to the side. Give that leg a nice squeeze all the way up and down and just bring it in towards the chest. <clears throat> and just take it flat on the mat, so we just take a moment, see how it feels. <coughs> And we're going to stick with the left. And this time we're going to bring that foot again onto the belt. We're going to take hold of the belt with the left hand. And again, you can keep that right hip a little bit towards the back with the right hand. And just slowly start taking that leg out to the left. Not forcing it. <clears throat> Just creating that gentle relationship with the breath. Trying to hold back and not controlling it too much. Just letting it be natural. We're just going to stay here for a few more moments. You can make any adjustments. And when you're ready, safely bringing yourself out of it. And we're going to give that right leg a nice little squeeze, bringing it into the chest. And just sit here for a moment and just notice that feeling. I'm going to bring the arms to the side and we're going to inhale, we lift up into bridge pose. So make this a nice active bridge pose. Engaging the glutes, pressing the feet into the back. And feel that power in the thighs as we stay here for five, for four, for three, for two, And for one, and slowly bringing yourself all the way back to the mat. So what we're going to do next is we are going to work on opening up the ribs. So if you've got your blankets, bring them towards you now. 
Um, we're going to do two exercises. So I've got a small blanket maybe for my head if I need to um, rest it on something a bit softer. So what I want you to do is to get that first blanket and maybe roll it up. It doesn't have to be too much. Maybe like so. Make the adjustments. Do what works for you. You can use the bolster, but I think that's a bit too much. So we're going to start by stretching into the side ribs. I want you to lie down on your right side. And I want you to get that blanket sort of between the lower ribs and just above the hips. And bringing the right arm onto the mat. You know, you might want a block here or a blanket. It's entirely up to you. And we're going to take that left leg forward and we're going to take the right leg back. So we're creating a bit of a twist and a bit of a stretch. And from here, making the adjustments that you need of the blanket, lift that left arm straight over so it's parallel with the mat and take hold of that left elbow with the right hand. So the left arm rather. So just start creating that stretch in the left side ribs. Remember to make any adjustments that you need for your body. I might just move my blanket a little bit down. So you might want to make the blanket a little bit higher. You might want to make it a bit lower. Whatever you need. Remember to keep the legs nice and stretched as well. What I want you to do now is get that left shoulder blade and start drawing it towards the mat behind you. So we're just creating a different sort of stretch. And again, just take it as far as it's comfortable. Because these are quite subtle movements, but they can be quite strong. And just coming back to centre, take a few more moments here. When you're ready, I want you to slowly release and just safely lift yourself up out of it. Take your time. Just make a few breaths in a comfortable seated position and just notice the difference in that left side body. What we're doing here is just creating gentle space in the ribs. So when you're ready, we're going to do the other side. So take the blanket. So we're going to come onto our left side. And again, just bring in that blanket underneath the left, sort of lower ribs, a little bit towards the pelvis. So just position it in a place that's comfortable for you. That encourages that stretch in the right side rib. So bringing the left arm to the mat. So I've made this side a little bit higher. I'm going to just try it. And we're going to take that right leg forward and the left leg back. Bring that left arm up and over. The right arm, sorry. And use that left arm to create that stretch. Yeah, that feels quite nice. Just take your time. And when you're ready, you can slowly draw that right shoulder blade towards the back. So we're just creating a different type of stretch. Slowly coming back to centre. Just a few more moments.
just enjoying that nice stretch. Okay, lovely. So when you're ready, slowly and safely bring yourself out of it. And just take a few moments in a seated position to notice how it feels. We're going to do one more exercise to open up the ribs. So I'm going to take my blanket and I'm going to place it kind of on my back as I'm laying down on my back. But I want it to be sort of just below the bottom tip of the shoulder blades. So it's sort of directly under the ribs. So just have a little play around. Ugh. Might need to shuffle yourself a little bit. And I want you to bend the knees. So you're bringing the feet onto the mat. And just let the arms come out to the side. So what we're doing here is opening up the front and the side ribs. I like. I think I like this one a little bit more. And what you're doing is you're inhaling. You're feeling that space in the side ribs and the back, all the way towards the front of the ribs, and we're lifting that sternum up. And as you exhale, it's drawing down. Just as a tip, when we come to Shavasana at the end, you can do this version if you want with the blanket under the ribs, and you can just bring the feet together and the knees out wide. So it's your choice. You can also bring a blanket under the head if you need that support. You can bring the hands onto the ribs, see what's happening. Could be here for a few more moments. When you're ready, I want you to slowly and safely come out of it. So you can roll out to the side. And just take that blanket and put it to the side. Brilliant. So hopefully there will be a little bit more space and a little bit more open. And we're going to inhale as we lift the arms up, take the gaze up. Exhale to release. And again. And release. And again. And release. Keep it going. Feel the shoulders lifting high. And look. let's take one more together. And release. Beautiful. Bring the hands to the knees and we're going to take our seated cat cow. So as you inhale, draw the heart towards the front of the room. Exhale, bring it back. So just take a few. Lovely. And you can always take it out side to side. If that helps, if that's what you need. Oh. Um, let's take a couple more and back to our neutral spine. Brilliant. We're going to take that right hand to the right side of the mat. Inhale, we lift and lift through the left. Take a nice stretch over towards the right. Really feel that sensation of the ribs opening and creating space. And we're going to inhale as we lift, loving that left arm behind us. Bring that right leg out as we come into our baby wild thing. Now from here, I want you to stay in your side plank position. You're going to keep that left knee down. And I want you to lift that right leg up and down. And engage the glutes as part of this exercise. So tap the glute a few times. Check that it's doing the main work rather than the leg. And just keep going for three, 
for two, for one, and release. Bring that foot to the mat. Take the hand, go to the left side of the body, come out into plank pose. Draw the heels away. And from here, we're going to take five chaturanga push-ups. You can do fewer, it's your choice. Drawing the elbows in. Really feel the tricep working. Remember, you can do it on the knees. Lift up. Stay in your plank pose. And I want you to slowly draw the right foot in and the left foot in. And we're going to inhale as we sweep up into our chair pose. Take it a little deeper. Pressing the feet into the mat. And when you're ready, I want you to come all the way down to the mat. Bring yourself straight into your boat pose. Remember to check the spine is nice and long. And we're going to take it from low boat to high boat. Feel the abs engaging here. Remember to make a version that suits you. And let's stay here for five, four, for three, two. One and hold and slowly release, coming flat onto the mat. And just take in about three breaths here. Bring the hands by the side and we're going to take the legs up in the air. Press the feet towards the ceiling, point and flex. Really feel the feet opening out. Take a few rotations in both directions. I want you to slowly start opening the legs out wide, working into the inside, and bringing them together, and out wide. Beautiful. Bring them together. I want you to lower the legs, find your hover point, take it out, and in. So we're sticking with the abs. Press and tap the abs. Check they're nicely engaging. And we're going to stay here for five. For four, for three, for two, and one. And slowly bring the knees in and release. We're going to take about three or four breaths here. And when you're ready, I want you to meet me back in your cross-legged position. And we're going to do the other side. Just take a few moments if you need. It's good to rest between the exercises. So we're going to do the left side. So bring the left hand down. Inhale the right arm up and take a nice beautiful stretch over to the left. So feel the ribs opening on the right side. And we're going to float that right arm behind us, coming into our baby wild thing. Opening the heart. Feel the ribs nice and big. And from here, we're going to come into our side plank variation and we're going to lift that left leg up and down. So this time we're working into the left glutes. And really tap the glutes because that will encourage them to fire up and engage. So let's do this for five, four, three, two, one, and release. And slowly bring yourself into plank on the other side. So draw the heels away and we're going to take five more chaturanga push-ups. So we're working into the triceps. Get nice and strong. And when you're ready, slowly bring the right foot in and the left foot in. And we're going to sweep up into chair pose. So check your alignment here. You don't want to be flaring out the ribs. So nice and strong core. We can take it a little deeper if you want. Are you ready? I want to slowly bring it all the way down to the mat. Come back into your boat pose. And we're going to take it from high boat to low boat. Check, check the abs. Give them a nice little tap. Let's stay here for five. Four, 
the three, the two, the one, slowly release. Oh, bring yourself all the way back to the mat. <coughs> Just take a few breaths and we're going to do one more abs exercise here. You've got a choice. You can do the leg one again, in and out, or you can lift the chest and we can take the zip leg out straight one at a time. And you can do the opposite arm out straight at the same time. So it's your choice. So when you're ready, just come into your position and we're gonna go. And we're gonna stay here for five, for four, three, two, and for one. And hug it in and release. So just take a few breaths here. And I want you to meet me in tabletop in a few moments. And we're gonna move on to the next section of the practice which is gonna be our sun salutation. So we're gonna keep it quite fast and flowing. So just take a few moments. <coughs> and we're gonna meet in tabletop. So hands spread out nice and wide. And when you're here, just take a few pat pal breaths just to keep a bit of stretching and movement going. And let's cut the toes under and lift up into your downward facing dog. So let's pedal the feet, bend the knees. I want you to inhale as you lift the heels, exhale to low. And I want you to feel that breath in the back of the body as well, so nice and strong. Let's take three lion's breaths here. Now on the next exhale, let's take the gaze between the hands and slowly walk the feet towards the hands. So we're going to come into our rag doll, so just shake it out. Shake the head, nod the head, whatever you need. And I want you to come to stillness and take hold of whatever's available, the toes, the mat, the knees, the thighs. We're going to inhale to lift, exhale to lower. Just take a few. Let the back relax. And when you're ready, let's slowly come all the way up. Keep a nice little bend in the knees if you need. Shoot the hands up, come onto the tippy toes. And release. And just bring yourself each towards the dasana position. So lift the toes up, spread them up. And shoulders away from the ears. Put in the email to write. Exhale, let's fold forward. Inhale, halfway. Exhale, step it back into plank. Keep it nice and strong. Let's lower down through Chaturanga. Open the heart. And downward facing dog. Breathe in and breathe out. Feel that strength in the lower back, in the spine and the ribs. Try to keep the breathing in through the nose and out through the nose. Let's take a deep inhale together. As you exhale, let's gaze between the hands, step or walk, feet to hand. Inner inhale, halfway lift. Ardo to Exhale to fold. Inhale to rise. 
Lift fingers up towards the sky. Exhale to it. Come back into your Tadasana. Breathing in for a few moments. Gonna inhale to rise. Exhale, let's fold forward. Inhale, halfway left. Exhale, step it back into plank pose. Take a nice big inhale and let's lower it down through chapter right. Open in the heart, downward facing dog. I want you to lift that right leg in the air. Bend the knee, bring the right foot between the hands. Drop the back knee, coming into a low lunge. Shoot the hands up in the air. Back leg is option. And I want you to release the hands to the mat. Bring the bum towards that left heel as we stretch into that front hand. Support yourself with your hands, flexing open that right. Feel that stretch. And we're going to come forward, bring the hands onto the right knee as we stretch into the back hip flexor. A nice extension in that back knee. And I want you to bring the hands to the heart centre. Take a deep inhale as you exhale, bring the left heel outside of the right knee. Option to lift that or the left knee off the mat as we come into a twist. Bring yourself back to centre. Release the arms out wide. Take the arms up towards the sky. Nice big stretch. Feel that length in the upper body. And I want you to bring the hands back through heart centre as we frame that front foot. Shoot that left foot in slightly. And then I want you to shoot that left leg up in the end and come into our standing splits. And from here, you can have a go at releasing the legs. The, the hands even, sorry. And when you're ready, I want you to bend that right knee and slowly release that left foot. Bring yourself back into your three-legged dog. You can drop into dog or you can flow through a three-legged vinyasa. It's your choice. And we're all going to meet in downward facing dog. Let's just take a few breaths here. Remember to create that space between the shoulder blades so you can externally rotate the upper arm. Let's take a deep inhale together. As you exhale, gaze between the hands. Step, walk, or float, feet to hands. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale to drop. Inhale to rise. Float the hands all the way up. Exhale to release. Just take a couple of moments. We're going to do this thing on the other side. So find your Tadasana again. You can lift the toes up, spread them up. Feel that length in the body. Good. Inhale to rise. Exhale. Let's fold forward. Inhale. Up with it. Exhale. Step it back into plank. Draw the heels away. Let's work through Chaturanga and we'll meet in downward facing dog. Beautiful. And from here, let's lift that left leg in the air. Let's bend that left knee, bring it between the hands. Drop the right knee, shoot the arms up for our supporting option to do the back. And I want you to bring the hands to the mat and slowly bring the bum towards that right heel as we stretch into that left hamstring. Happy and bring it back, hands onto that left knee and stretch into that back, right hip flexor. And when you're ready, I want you to bring the hands to the heart centre and we're going to twist over to the left. Option to lift that right knee off the mat. And we're going to slowly come back to centre, release the arms out wide. 
And when you're ready, we're going to frame that front foot. Shoot that right leg in a little bit, and then we're going to lift it all the way up to standing split. Then you can take a little go, releasing the hands if you want. This is definitely my weakest, guys. Ooh. And when you're ready, slowly bend that left knee as we drop the right foot back. And you can come into three-legged dog and flow through a three-legged vinyasa. We'll meet the downward facing dog. Lovely, beautiful. And let's take three lines breaths here. Deep inhale. Exhale, we gaze between the hands, step, walk, or float. Feet to hand. Inhale, we're halfway. Exhale to fold. Inhale to rise, nice and tall. Exhale to release. Take a few little shoulder rolls. We're going to come towards the end of the practice. We'll go back to four, three or four minutes ago. Bring the feet mat distance apart. Hands to heart center as we slowly lower down into our yogi squat. A nice little stretch. If you want, you can come straight onto the mat or you can flow through a crow pose. Remember that you've got the blanket. You can put a blanket in front of you if you're worried about face planting. Just slotting the knees on the upper arms. Feet out in front of you, high grip and the knees, hands on the side, and let's just take a few breaths to start. Beautiful and release. Slowly bring the feet together and we're going to do one more pose before Shavasana and that's our butterfly pose. So a nice in-breath, neutral spine as we lean forward, take one more inhale and exhale to let it go. Just let the body relax here. slowly come up. So we've got about maybe three minutes to go and we're going to come into our Shavasana. So if you want to take the blanket option where your blanket is just below the shoulder blades and it helps to open up the ribs then you can do so. Otherwise just come into a normal Shavasana for a few moments. Just where the blanket goes. Closing down the eyes, just relaxing for a couple of minutes.
So when you're ready, and slowly start coming out of it. So just take your time. Do any little movements and stretches that you need to do. And when you're ready, in a few moments, let's all meet in our comfortable cross-legged position. So keep the eyes closed, the face soft. I'm going to bring the hands apart. I want to end today's practice without a free clearing breath. Slowly bringing the thumbs up to the third eye. I want to thank you for today's practice and I want to thank you for joining me on this journey. And I want to thank you for being versatile and being open. The inner light in me will always honour the inner light in you. Thank you so much. Thank you, guys. Thank you, Shabnam. Thanks, Shabnam. No and I'll be in touch if we can do another one. It probably won't be this week, but I will be in touch. Thank okay. you. Cool. Cheers. Right. Bye. See you later, everyone. Take care. Bye. Bye.